everybody, Jeff here at the Brethren Workshop, uh, just trying to get a little work done on some of the beams. Uh, I was thinking this week about how some of the stuff, uh, the beams and stuff that we're making, some of the joinery and the mortise and tenons are kind of complicated with the angles and uh, I just thought I'd help out a little bit by, by figuring some of them out ahead of time and getting some of the progress going so I can help the students with it. But I also realized too that a lot of times I need help. I need to ask questions. And I, I got certain people that will come in and, and give me a hand uh, when I'm struggling also. And one thing I've learned in my life is uh, about asking for help. And I don't know, my, my thing is, I think a lot of guys uh, struggle with this, and, and women too, I guess, but a lot of, it's like a more of a guy thing where we really struggle with, with the pride of asking for help. And you know the old jokes about uh, when the man and the woman get lost, the, the guy won't stop at the gas station to, to you know, ask for directions, or he, when he buys something that needs put together, and he takes the directions and throws them away, and he won't, we won't read the directions. And, you know, that's a pride thing. And I, I was thinking about that this week, and I was looking at uh, Galatians 6, uh, talks about that. Uh, asking for help in, in the way we should, uh, in a godly manner, deal with that when we need help or when, when others need help from us. Let me read it to you. It's, uh, Galatians 6 says, Dear brothers and sisters, in another believer, if another believer is overcome by some sin, you who are godly should gently and humbly uh, help that person back onto the right path. And be careful not to fall into the same temptation yourself. Share each other's burdens, and in this way, obey the law of Christ. If you think you are too important to help someone, you are only fooling yourself. You are not that important. Pay careful attention to your own work, for then you will get the satisfaction of a job well done, and you won't need to compare yourself to anyone else. Uh, for, for we are each responsible for our own conduct. So as we look at this uh, passage of Scripture, uh, Paul is talking to Christians here. Now, he's not talking to, to uh, pagans or unbelievers. He, he's talking to us. He's talking to, to Christians. And he's telling us that, that if one of us stumbles spiritually or we're getting off track of God's teaching and what God expects of us, that we need to help that person get back on, on track. And a lot of times that's not easy to do, especially if you don't have that relation built with somebody to, to come up and say, hey, you know, you need to get back on track. You're missing missing it here you know it's it's easier to do it it's better to have that relationship with a person to be able to do that when when they're struggling so that's the importance of building relationships with each other and fellowship and going to church and doing doing activities together so we have this relationship because then that way i, I can keep you on track you can keep me on track when you see me start to slide or, or to stumble one way or the other and the second part of that it talks about uh, when somebody needs help, you know, and the thing is, when we help people, the best thing, too, is, is to watch it. We don't fall into temptation ourselves because we might, you know, uh, be trying to help them and see what they're doing and seeing that the struggles they go through, and we might be tempted to fall into that same trap that they're in. So that's one of the cautions that Paul gives us here. And, you know, as we see somebody struggling, it's important for us as Christians, as brothers and sisters, to help each other when, somebody, when somebody's struggling. And, you know, that, that's part of the, uh, the gift that God gives us with the indwelling Holy Spirit, that the spiritual gifts that we do have that where we like to help and want to help others. And it's funny because the third part of that on this next verse, in verse 4, it almost sounds like a contradiction here to this, this scripture, but we know there's no contradictions in the Bible. God is the God of truth. His word is true. And it says, pay careful attention to your own work, for then you will get the satisfaction of a job well done. You won't compare yourself to anyone, for we are each responsible for our own conduct. So we might be thinking, now, wait a minute. He just told us that we should help others, and, and we should we should do, you know, accept help. We shouldn't be too prideful to accept help from people, which is an important thing. Sometimes it's easier to help somebody than it is to accept help. But now he's telling us that, that we should be responsible for our own actions. But what he's telling us is that, you know, we shouldn't 
expect help when, when there, there's physically not help, we don't need help. And what I'm saying here is, is God gives us the, uh, the help that we need. When somebody needs sent to us, you know, when, we, when we're doing something, he sends us the help we need. You know, I think of the story, I don't know exactly how it goes, but about the guy who was stuck on the roof in the flood, and he was praying, oh God, help me, and, and next thing you know, a, a swimmer came by, a rescue swimmer, and he says, come on, he says, I'll, uh, come down, I'll help you. And he said, no, no, he said, God's going to help me. So he waited a little bit later, he prayed again, and next thing you know, a, a boat come up. And he says, come on down. He says, I'm, I'm going to help you. I'm going to get you to dry land. And the guy said, nope, nope, I, I'm waiting for God to help me. Well, then the third thing, a helicopter flew over and said, hey, I'll lower down the line to you. Grab the line and, and I'll pull you up to safety. And the guy said, no, thank you. He said, I'm waiting for God to save me. Well, next thing you know, the floodwaters raised and the guy ended up drowning and dying. And, and he gets to heaven and he talks to Jesus and then Jesus, he says, he wants to ask him a question. He says, Jesus, I, I prayed for you to save me when I was on that roof. He says, you know, I prayed and prayed and, and you tell us that our prayers will be answered if we fall. Why didn't you save me? Jesus said, I sent you a swimmer and I sent you a boat and I sent you a helicopter. So if we see in that, that little uh, comic story that, you know, that's how God helps us. You know, it, you know, we sometimes want help, but we want it our way. We want it under our conditions, just like a lot of things we do in our life. And we have to realize that, you know, when we're asking God for help, God's going to help us. It's going to be in His way. And sometimes when He's not sending help, that's because He's allowing us to, to work through something for ourselves that, that brings us closer to Him. And, and that's out of love that He does that. So that's where we have to understand that, you know, it's, it's good to, at times to ask for help. And at times it, it's just good to do things on our own. And then especially, you know, it's not good if we can have the ability to do something on our own and we're just too lazy or we're too whatever, you know, to do it ourselves and we want somebody else to do it for us. That's, that's completely wrong also. So we've got to understand this, that it's okay to ask for help and it's okay, you know, to give help. We need to give help where it's needed. But we need to rely on God because all help, whether it's in human form or if it's, uh, you know, a, a tool, or it's some kind of knowledge that God gives us for a skill or a trade or something. It all comes from God. It doesn't come from us. But we have got to have that walk with Jesus Christ that we know the difference and, and learn to rely on God and know that that help is, is coming. But it's coming in His time and it's coming in His way for His purposes. So uh, on that note, let's, let's think about that this week and let me pray with you. Dear Lord, I, I thank you for the people you put in our lives that help us, and I thank you for giving us the opportunity to help others, that we can get the blessings from that. It, at times, dear Lord, I, I know that we don't want to accept help, but we also got to remember that it, it might be blessing somebody else by allowing them to help us, even if we really don't need it, if they're, if they're wanting to help us. And just remember that there, there's, let us remember there's times that you give us the skills for ourselves. And even though sometimes things are uncomfortable and, and we do stuff we don't like to do, you give us the ability and the capabilities to do these things. And we just ask you to give us the wisdom to know the difference uh, and, and what you want us to do in each and every situation. And we thank you for this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.